Good morning. I was getting ready for a message I'm doing on Wednesday night, being made alive in Christ and the power that comes from that of being led by the Spirit of God. Uh, the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells within us. So our lives should look a lot different than they did before we, we were transformed by the goodness and grace and love of God. But what I... Uh, keep coming back to in studying and just spending time, just that quiet time with God, is that I think the reason why we struggle is we never come to the end of self. And where the, the power comes, so what we do is we try and make God more into our image than submitting our life to God and allowing Him to shape us as He is. Um, it's trusting him and believing that he's good and loving. That's where our struggle comes in. Because we might have had a, a bad relationship with a father or a parent, um, and we think that God is the same. God is not the same. God is all loving. Uh, one of the most beautiful, when you see the cross, is not just Jesus dying for our sins. He had to die. But the sacrifice that took place in that of, of loving his people and sending his son in order to make things right between man and God, restoring us and reconciling us to a loving relationship with him as we were created to be, rather than um, it just being about you know us being dirty sinners and him needing to come to die on our behalf. That's part of it, but so much more beautiful than that. Um, that God is love. And unless we believe that God is love and loving and desires the absolute best for his children, um, that's why he gives us children, I believe, is that we can somehow relate in a minute way of how he feels about his creation. We've been reconciled to our loving Father. We can live in a whole new way. And I can just speak from experience over the last seven years when I submitted my life to God instead of trying to incorporate him into my life. That's when everything changed. That's when the fruit of the Spirit comes into our life and we're led by the Spirit rather than the flesh. You can be in church and incorporate him into your life, but you're still being led by self. You're still being led by, by the flesh rather than the Spirit of God. In submitting to God, we experience his fullness. And it's a process. It's us saying, you know what, God, I'm yours. I don't know what this is going to look like, but I'm going to trust you with my life. And in that, we experience peace and joy and love and contentment that we never had before. I'm just speaking in my own life and what I've seen in others that have really come down to the root of digging up self. And, you know, we come into this world self-centered and self-seeking because of the fall. Everybody is apart from the love of God when we come in your three-year-old is. All of us need to be born again, born again back to the love of the Father. And then our life will be changed forever. Then we're not focusing on the fruit. We get down to the root of understanding who we are, and the tree becomes good and we produce good fruit, rather than us just focusing on fruit. And that's what happens inside of church a lot. We focus on just behavior, trying to behave in a certain way to show yourself approved to get love and acceptance from God and others. Uh, but if you get down to the root of it's all about him, we've been saved by grace alone through faith alone in the finished work of Christ alone. This way, no one can boast. But it's not about you. It's about just the, the part that we have is that surrendering or submitting back to our loving Father. And when we do, we experience the fruit of the Spirit in our life. Um, I was a Christian for a long time, um, trying to do the good works. So my identity was rooted in good works rather than really in him and his grace and his love. Now I obey in my life because I've been motivated by the love of God rather than trying to receive love by what I do. It is a totally different way of living. One's bondage. I was in bondage to religion just like I was my addictions. You know, um, but nobody will ever call you out on doing good works, but you're still in bondage. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope you can experience that today and understand that God loves you and understand that we are all a work in progress. 
you know, it's about sanctification, about us being transformed more and more into his image as we go along. But we have to let go to take hold. Let go of us. Let go of me. And we have the free will choice to do that or not. I'm just sharing um, my life experience of submitting my life to God and experiencing something that I can't even describe. It's just the love of God, I guess. Anyway, God bless y'all.